how was that saying? Well, we were watching the movie, and it says, you know, well, what's your dream? And it says, oh, it was crazy. It says, kind of, uh, kind of strange about crazy dreams, right? Crazier it is, maybe you ought to go do it. Right? And it's, it was just amazing. And, and so, is there an opportunity now to actually maybe achieve some of the things that you thought was only a dream? The only way to do that is what that Gallup poll was talking about. What's that? Number one thing we're interested in is what? Finance. finance and number two is health. It should be the opposite, but it's okay because we're programmed that way. Is finance and then health, right? So are we at the right place at the right time? Absolutely. I'm telling you right now what Terry was talking about earlier. With I'll give you one example of one product. I want to ask someone to come up here. Uh, Judy, would you come up here? Would you, hey, Judy, ever? Remember the product that Terry was talking about is called Osseodense, right? Osseodense is about that bone density problem. And, and we say, well, there, there is traditional things we do for that problem right now, right? Right? Mm -hmm. What is it? Yeah, huh? Boniva, Fosamax, Actinil. Right? And, and that does stop the problem, kind of, sort of. Well, it stops that bone degeneration. Slows it down. Well, it does something. You got to slow. You got to do something because three point five billion dollars of the drugs are sold every year. Someone, it's got to be. So that's what it does. Is it moves money? That's yeah. what it does. <laughs> there you go, Chris. You answered yourself. It moves money. No, they don't do it just for it that. It does. No, no, I ain't gonna do it. No, they're doing. They're doing it because they're trying to help everybody. I, am, I am a believer. Of, yeah. They are. Which fingers do you have crossed? What? I don't have any fingers crossed. I mean, hey, seriously, okay? It's like this. Let's assume for a second that they're doing it for the good of mankind. Okay? What's wrong with something new and better coming along? If something new and better came along that was all natural, that didn't create all those problems, and actually resolve the issue, would anyone want to buy it? Sure, sure. With the people that are buying the $3.5 billion worth of that stuff, would they want to buy it if they knew what it did? Yes. Now, I'm, I'm saying the word new. See, some people hear about it and they go, well, I don't believe it. And it's because they don't believe, they don't, don't get it, because no one in their right mind would ever say, no, I don't want to have a natural solution that resolve issues. Would anyone you think would have it, you know, unless they didn't believe it, right? So what we got to do is be create believability, right? And if we can create the believability, would anyone buy it? So, and you said you need a mic. Guess what? We have one. I'm going to step away when I turn this on because it'll be going. Tell us your experience with that. You want the osteodents first? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, in 2004, this is going to be fast, 2004 I was diagnosed with osteopenia, 2008 it was, it was osteoporosis, my doctor was having a fit, here's the Fosamax Judy, you have to take it. Okay, so I go to my naturopath, Dr. Andy Foster, who many of you know, and she said, I can't tell you not to take it if a medical doctor has told you to take it, but I will tell you this and you better listen to me. My mother will never repeat, never take that drug. And I said, okay, that's good enough for me. What do I do? She said, here is osteodense. She put me on it for a while, just one a day, and then she said, let's kick that up to two a day. So for seven months yesterday, I've been on osteodense two a day. I just had my, I hate to say it, but urine test went back to Andy and she said, let's don't go through all the, the radiation, let's do the, the urine test. And she said, when the results came back, she called me and she said, Judy, this is just fabulous. And I said, okay, what do you mean? And she said, okay, the normal range is 3 to 7.2. Above 7.2 is osteoporosis. She said, you are now a four. You no longer have osteoporosis. So I was thrilled. 
um, it, it works. It's worked on me, and because it's worked on me, uh, now I can talk about it. Do you want me to go to my sister? Okay. My sister uh, lives in Kerrville. She <coughs> has been on the Naked products for some time. The sleep system alone has helped her stop six prescription drugs. One for Ambien that she was taking, her blood pressure medicine she's no longer on, her um, Zantac for acid reflux is gone because she's covered up with that far infrared comforter every night. When she gets out from under the comforter for a few days to travel, she has to take Zantac again. She gets under it and it goes away. So we know that that works. I don't know the other prescription drugs, but she just said I'm off of six of them. Y'all, she is now nice. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Before that, we didn't know where she came from. The rest of my brothers and sisters were, we just said, okay, just get out of her way. And that's the way we all had to treat her because, but now we like her. We like being around her. Okay, and now, the one, the one other thing that I'm going to talk to you about is water. This week, I started reading a book. You must read it. It's called, um, just a minute. You're not sick, you're thirsty. If you want to sell some water systems, people, you buy that little paperback book. The doctor that wrote it was a political prisoner in an Iranian prison. And uh, one night they brought to him a man um, that was double over. He could not even walk. Two men were carrying him because his stomach, he had a bleeding peptic ulcer and it was, the pain was so horrible that he could not stand it. He was begging the guards to take him to the prison hospital, and they didn't care if he hurt or not, so they didn't take him. And they, he said, they brought him to me. Uh, I didn't know how many days before I would be executed. I was glad they brought him to me then. And um, he, he said, I told him, I have no drugs. I'm a prisoner also. I want you to drink two glasses of water and he said in a few minutes, he was feeling better. In eight minutes, his pain was gone. And he said, that started me on a little thing with my own body that I was going to see what water would do. Anyway, this is the story of, he, he wrote in the book that he was, um, he, he went before the judge and said, if I'm to be executed, please do not destroy my research that I've done. I've written it down. Anyway, they came to him and they said, okay, it's been 23 months. We're going to let you go early. And he said, no, let me stay in prison because the research that I'm doing with these prisoners, I, I don't want to have to repeat it again. I want to stay. And he stayed in prison voluntarily four more months and got out, and this book is a result of his findings, and it, it, it will, have you read it, Suzanne? No, no. You're not sick, you're thirsty. Uh, the author is Dr. F, period, like Frank, F as in Frank. The first six letters are Batman something, yeah. Batman, blah, blah, blah. a whole bunch of more letters after Batman. Did you get it from Focus, Focus on Growth? Yeah. We got it in Austin. At Focus, Focus on Growth. Yeah. So uh, don't, don't miss it because you will not believe how it will make you drink water and everyone you know. Okay, what it shows you is that if you put the body back in balance, good things will happen. But sometimes if we're not, you know, of course we're not in prison, right, fortunately, right? And uh, little things, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll be flying here. Right? Little things that bother us, you go, oh, well, that's just normal. That's just normal stuff. You know, I guess that I'm getting older or whatever, or I've been doing something, or I've been stressed, so that's just normal stuff. Nothing can really help. We just have to get through it, right? Put your body back in balance, and everything resolves issues. Now, the big thing about what I'm about to talk about is this. Are we at the right place at the right time for an industry called wellness, and in an industry called networking, all right, 